so nobody won the big Powerball jackpot last night. I guess they're just uh, saving up the money for me to win Saturday night. So of course I didn't get out as early as I wanted to this morning because I love my sleep <laughs> and I just kept in my snooze alarm. So it's still the morning time, it's 10.30, but I would've rather gotten out sooner. But that's okay, hopefully I can still get everything I wanted to do done today. Here go the new tires. They put them on the back and put the more worn ones on the front, but those are still pretty good. But um, these are Falcon brand. Nice, I love the tread on that. But uh, yep, Sadie's got some new tires. Now she just needs a car wash. Downtown now and ready to hit up the gym. <laughs> successful workout the problem I'm still having is the good food eating terrible why does good food have to be so bad for you going over to the second tallest building in Fort Wayne to go to a place called deli 620 where they have a uh, pretty decent salad bar So I just got Sadie an oil change and then I had to them check out this problem I have on the right front where I kind of jumped a curb trying to turn into the very close lane when there was a car coming the other lane. Anyway, and they said it was going to be $1,100 if they did it and the lady there, she's like, try to find your own parts and we'll just do it for the labor. So I don't know. I'm going to go to someplace else. like. Um, this other mechanic that my dad and my grandpa go to to see what he says about it So it looks like I might have an expensive fix on my hands Hopefully, it's not gonna break the bank too bad. Now I'm about to go in here and get my haircut and I'll be right back. Well, how does my free haircut look? Yeah, I got it free because uh, the Comets scored more than five goals on New Year's Eve and I had to redeem it within seven days and this was the seventh day jumping over to francisco's house now what's going on hey you told me to start recording you yeah. got something to say yeah i do what crisco it's time happy birthday what merry christmas oh my christmas gift came in huh there you go yep simpsons okay i'm a fan of the simpsons it's probably a used bag but yes it yeah is. <laughs> 110 percent. what you probably should have noticed it what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blastoise and a Magneton card. <laughs> There's a story behind this, by the way. <laughs> wow. And they're holographic. <laughs> wow. Royal Masquerade Northrop High School prom yep. frame. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll let you in on the story here. So when I was younger and Pokemon was a thing and so collecting cards and stuff, the original 151, yes. right? Yeah. Anyway, I had this Blastoise card, this holographic Blastoise, and I traded it for this Magneton because I saw Blastoise only did 40 damage and I saw this Magneton does 100. I'm like, oh yeah, heck yeah, let's make that trade. And then they pointed out to me that it was a self-destruct move. Who's they? Hitesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can read English. So that means <laughs> so that means it blows itself up in order to do that much damage. 
So that was a bad move. And then we went to try to trade it back. Nope. But she wouldn't trade back. Never, never trade back. It was no. a girl? No oh, trade yeah. back. Oh, man. Yeah. A girl did this to me. Oh, didn't know that. Interesting. Yep. Even more yeah. prideful loss right there. <laughs> so there's the story. And that was kind of, that was a neighborhood thing. You know, all neighborhood kids trading cards. How old were you, Justin? Uh, Not old enough to read. Probably like 10. Somewhere around not there. Old enough, <laughs> not old enough to read, basically. Well, guess who's driving? Justin. <laughs> okay, unless he wants to hop in the back of my truck. Me? Me? You ain't hopping in the back of my... No well, one's then... riding in my bed of my truck. I have before. I know, but not on <laughs> Highway 69. Not on national television? Yeah, not on... Not in front of millions of viewers. Oh my God. Not millions of subscribers, okay. Just, just as this. <laughs> <laughs> Slushy time. <laughs> Alright, so we're cheating high tech how to fill out a lottery slip so he can play the Powerball. Now you can get a quick pick where the computer picks your numbers. Nah. If you want to pick your own. Um, okay, so basically you got to pick five. You gotta pick five of these numbers in here. Okay. One through 69. So am I doing stuff here? Or is this all no. $2 each? Yeah, those are all $2 tickets, so you just fill out that one. Six, 15. Like, Maria's buying the winning numbers. You need me to take care of it. <laughs> you know what, does that make sense? Like... Where's my hat? Where's my hat? I found my hat. Do you have a timeline? It does, well, it has a timeline, it just doesn't have an index. Oh, that's way backwards. There we go. Hey, hey. Oh, terrible angle. Terrible angle. Ooh. Ew. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you guys tomorrow. All right. <laughs> And like, I feel like I'm being set up for a prank or something. I, I don't know what it is because he, all he did was order one cheeseburger and some cottage cheese and he tipped me pretty well.